ability to really harness analytics and use that in terms of um, you know, uh, informing the process, informing uh, the communication, driving engagement, etc. So I think it's that um, using data to drive a more informed way of doing things. So, yeah. Not learning the lessons from the past. You know, you think about, you know, just going back to my point about engagement, I think, you know, we do surveys every year, we don't seem to always follow through on the plans, we don't get any real surprises, and I think, you know, there's, for me, a point where, you know, as leaders, you've got to just take stock, you really get underneath what that is, you know, you, know, you, know, you can have great reward programmes, you can have great learning programmes, but you don't really get underneath kind of what is it that people join an organisation for, stay with an organisation for. So, you know, and, and, and for me, I think it's about, so coming back more directly to the question, it's, it's, it's really about failing to communicate, to take um, employees with, with them on the journey, making sure that actually they really do understand kind of, you know, where you are in a business cycle or in a programme, etc. So, you know, people can feel that they're really making a difference as opposed to, you know, being really part of something. Uh, as opposed to just being, you know, I guess a widget in a process. So I think you know, le learning from the past and really engaging our people is so important. Failing to um, embrace technology um, is, is just a, a you know, it's, it's will be um, negative from a competitive perspective. Um, I think you know we shy away from some of these things because we're thinking about you know the employment of our colleagues as opposed to necessarily the opportunities that new ways of working um, actually present for people. So you know I think it's I think it's you know drag, dragging our, dragging your feet around it. I think is is, is a real issue. Um, you know obviously it's really important that you have really good change management. Um, supporting that, supporting the technology innovation as well. I'm not sure I could actually say either way to be honest with you. I think it's, I think people still have, still don't understand it necessarily. Um, you know, although organisations perhaps are um, investing in it more in the business side of things, not necessarily in kind of, your kind of back office functions like HR. Um, so I think, I think you know, it, it, it's, I suppose it's a bit like um, the intranet and the internet were years ago. <laughs> you know, people just need to kind of get, get to understand it and to understand how it can contribute. You know, it's not just about cost saving, it, it's actually about enabling ways of working and, you know, and also presenting opportunities. But you know, for me, my observation is people haven't really got their head around it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess it depends on the industry that you're in. Yeah. Delivering programs that are directly supporting uh, business development. So um, for me, I guess you know, if I'm answering it personally, it's not just the cranking the handle. It's actually creating step change. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be about profit. It might just be about you know, a way of working or um, actually how you feel about working for an organisation and the whole value proposition, so I think it's, um, yeah, that hand in hand with the business. The, I think, communication and understanding of the role that you play, um, to in investing in actually understanding the capabilities that you have on the team, being able to, to really leverage those. Um, you know, I think it's something about investing more in the people that we have in our teams, um, and then being able to drive through, um, you know, benefit, you know, on a win-win basis. I think uh, together.